Percy, look at me. I'm not leaving this house. I won't. You cannot send me. In fact, you do not have the right to send me out of this house. Why wouldn't I? Because you are not the man of this house. Only Roland can send me out of this house, not you. For your information, media, I am Roland's wife. And I don't need his permission to ask you out of this house. And just like you said, I've always wanted you out of the house. Yes, this minute you are going to leave this house. Right here, right now. Oh, that's just for hobby. <laughs> um, ladies, uh, please, I have to go professional, okay? Sure. Hi. So, how is work with you? Fine. And you, you didn't go to work today? Ah, uh, no. Um, you told me you've been flexing and relaxing in this house all along. No, it's not about flexing or whatever. I, I just feel a bit under the weather, so I just had to call Colin sick. Has it entered? Are what? you pregnant? No. <gasps> Come on, tell me I'm your best friend. I should know this. Tell I me. I am not pregnant. You are pregnant. I am just a bit sick. <sighs> Moreover, if I am pregnant, you, you'll be the first to know, right? You're my friend. Yeah, but you sure you're not pregnant? I you am... don't need to hide it from me, you know? Come on, I'm not pregnant. Not yet. All right. <sighs> That's fine. Um, <sighs> okay, it's, it's getting late. When will you go home? Anyways, I know you're a night crawler, so. Home? <laughs> mm hmm Well, I don't plan on going home today. I will be spending the night here. Huh? Yes, I'm not going home. But you, you didn't tell me. Hello? Do I have to inform you before spending the night here? No, no, it's, it's nothing of that sort. It's just that... Um, food. What if we want to have dinner and there's nothing to eat? I, I, I would have just made something for all of us if you had called. Food? Yeah. Oh, come on, Mercy. This is my house as well. So food should not be an issue to us. Whatever it is, just go in, make, we, we, we share. I, I don't mind. I know Roland is a rich man, so if you can't like something, just go in there and find something for us to eat. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just be inside, excuse me. Okay, all right. You look hot. Okay. You know, I like that. Thank you, dearie. Keep looking hot for a minute. How have you been and how is business? Uh, well, I've been good. Business has been running well, thank God. And our wife? How has she been? Uh, she's been fine. She's doing good. She's treating you well? Mm -hmm. Like a king? Because that is what you are. Look. If she starts misbehaving, do not hesitate to tell me. 
so I can question her, okay? My wife is not giving me any problems at all. In fact, I couldn't have asked for a better life partner. That's nice to hear. So, um, Lydia, I'm going to retire to bed. So soon? Yeah, I have but to the sleep. the program is still on. I have to retire to bed tomorrow's work. Oh. Alright, uh, good night and have a wonderful night. Rest. Good one for you. Good night. Oh, mm. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Come mm. here. Mm. <laughs> All right, there. Bedtime, bedtime. Uh, husband and wife. Already? Mercy, I was expecting you downstairs, but I didn't see you. Uh, what I'm saying is, it's just right that when you have a visitor in your house, at least try to keep them company. Oh, are you tired of me being in your house? Oh, no, come on. No, I'm, I'm not. Why would you even say that? Don't even think about it. I'm just not feeling too well, so I had to... Come up here to rest. Moreover, my husband was with you, right? Yes. And he yes. kept you company. Yes. Yeah, 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 he did. But you know, at times, um, woman to woman chat cannot be matched with a man to woman chat. You know the vibes, you know what I'm talking uh, about. <laughs> yeah, that's true, my bad. I'm so sorry, okay? I'm just not too strong. So I just want to rest. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyways, let me leave you guys so you can sleep. Okay. No, let me hurry up and go to go to bed. Yeah. Um, one of the fashion designers we spoke about, the one I asked you to give me. Anyways, it's fine. You said you were tired. Just go to sleep. Good night. Good night, yeah. Good. It's three years already. Three years. And there's nothing to show. So please, you guys should hurry up. Three boys. And three girls, six children. <laughs> Please, so I can carry my babies, yeah? Thank you so much. <laughs> three boys, three girls. <laughs> right. Oh my God, oh my God. Ah, Lydia, I didn't even know she's like this. <laughs> Drama queen. By the way, are you still having that headache? Yeah, it's, it just um, increased. <laughs> so I'm just going to kiss the headache away and give you a head massage, baby. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you're welcome, my love. <laughs> You're the miracle in my life. Secondary school today. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh my god, you're the miracle in my life today. Hey, man, I let's go. Darling, I need to be friends. You're the miracle in my life today. Lydia, what is going on? 
I'm trying to make noodles. Noodles? Yeah. I woke up from sleep. I was so hungry, so I had to make food. <laughs> Please. And, and, and you entered the kitchen. You, you, you like came here to make noodles by this time of the night. Huh? I just said I'm hungry now. What would you have me do? Okay, no, it's, it's not like, I don't know, it's the noise. It, oh, it no. woke me up. I, I was so scared and I had to come downstairs. I didn't even know you're the one here. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I didn't mean to. I didn't know you were, it was reaching upstairs. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so sorry. Can I just go back to bed. Do you, do you want no. some? Sorry. Okay, please just go and call your husband. Don't allow Cole to catch him, yeah? So sorry, I will do the noise. This is oh. my husband's favorite sport. Oh, sorry, sorry. My bad, my bad. So you don't want some? No, okay, okay. Go back to bed, eh? I will do the noise, I promise. Today, thank you. Life is all about understanding. Understanding makes a difference. We could be close friends, but we'll have a boundaries. So don't get it so twisted. We could be close friends, but not suffocating. Wakey, wakey! It's morning, lovebirds! Wake up! Mm. Wake up! Hello, lovebirds! <laughs> Good morning! It's morning! Wake up! Morning. Good morning! Hey, Roland! Good morning! Good morning! But I knew you guys would still be cuddling and wanted to do one or two, but it's morning! And it's time to go to work! Anyways, I came to confirm, Roland. At what time will you be going to work so I can join you? I'll be headed for work for 9 a.m. 9 or 9.30 a.m. 9? 9? Oh, that is late. Anyways, and I forgot bosses don't go to work early. But anyways, um, Mercy, what would I have for breakfast? You sorted yourself last night, so you can as well do that now. Sorry? Hmm? What did she say? Uh, breakfast. Oh, okay. Uh, tea, bread. Tea and bread. What about egg? Eggs. 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 Tea, bread and eggs. <laughs> now that makes sense. So it's time. You have to wake up, then in the kitchen, so we can make breakfast for her. Come on, it's too early. It's morning, just wake up, please. Oh, oh, it's time, wake up. Hungry. It's just... Roland, it's time to go to work. Good morning. Can we go to the kitchen, please? I'll be here for work. Thank you. <laughs> wakey, wakey. My beautiful wife. <laughs> Hello, couple. Don't tell me you guys are planning to leave me behind. You're still here? Yes, I am. I wouldn't go without telling you guys, would I? Uh, we, we thought you left. No, I didn't. As you can see, well, I called the office and I told them we'll be coming to work late today. And I didn't want to go to my house to pick up clothes to wear to work, so I decided to wear this one. And I said to join you guys, save money. Okay. I heard you saying you were tired of my presence in this house. No, I never said that. Come on, how, how can I? I, uh, 
Wait. I don't understand. How did you get in? I expected the question. I have my key. Have you forgotten? I mean, I've had this for over two years now. Uh, um, um, welcome everyone. Okay, honey, I will just um, freshen up. Sure. Wow, I didn't remember you, you had that. Oh, it's fine, you're bad. <laughs> and you guys came back so early. I wasn't expecting you to come back this early. I thought maybe you wanted to sit out, do this couple thing, lovey dovey. It's a stressful day at work. Come on. Right now, I really need to rest. I'll just go in and freshen up, okay? Okay. See you. All right. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Baby. Hey, beautiful. I have missed you. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we're all done, man. <laughs> so, baby, I've been thinking. How about I have um, a girl first, then two boys follows. Oh, okay, wait. Do you want the, the girl to come last? But I've always wanted the girl to come first. Mm. Well, um... Bessie. What did you say? You want to have three kids? In which house? God forbid, it can't work. Three kids where? In this big house? No! I've told you before. Three girls, three boys, minimum of six. You can make it 10 or if possible, run out to 11. No one is complaining. Ronan has money. He will take care of his children. Which one is three kids? You see that idea? Even if you both want to add, it will not work. It can never work. As my mother or my mother in law. As your best friend. Lydia, yeah? really? Like, I don't get this. Honestly. What's wrong with you? You're beginning to cross your boundaries lately. And it's not funny. Honestly, what's your business now? No, 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 no. What's your business if I choose to give birth to one boy or one girl? I'm only trying to advise you now. Look at this house. Look at it well. It's big. As a, as a woman, I have kids littered everywhere. If you come in there, they'll jump on your body. Should you talk? Who, who, who invited you into this? Listen, you said this the last time. And I just let it slide. I didn't act like you said anything. And you're repeating it again. Why would you do that? Mercy, it's not right. Excuse me. Keep your mouth off my marital matters, okay? I wouldn't take it next time. I don't really like it too. I don't like it. It's not funny. You can't have just three kids in this house. Oh. Look at this house, oh. Everything will be okay. Why is she acting? Don't be carried away with your emotions. Here we go. So, I decided to make breakfast for you since your wife is busy with chores. Thank you. I hope she gets to eat before she continues. Yeah, you can go on before she Baby, you will not eat that food. Else, she will forever have to stay here to cook whatever you eat. Let's wait. I don't understand. Are you suspecting me? I am not suspecting you. All I'm saying is that you shouldn't be cooking for my husband when I'm around. Uh, babe, she... Oh, no, 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 please, darling. I know this. I understand this, okay? All I'm saying is that you shouldn't be cooking for him. I can cook for my husband for as long as we leave, no matter the chores I have. Please, don't you ever cook for my husband, not when I'm around. Mercy, what is my offense? I mean, I was always trying to help with something since you were busy. Trying to help? Okay, if you're trying to help, there are lots of chores. The center table is dirty. The, the couches, you can help me dust them. You can also help me clean everywhere. Not looking for my husband. Please don't try it again. There are lots of chores.
Uh, I want to quickly drop Lydia home, okay? I'll be back in the GFA. Um, hold on. Babe, breakfast is ready. Okay? I need you to sit down. You can give her 5,000 naira for cab, alright? Um, um, look, babe, I already promised to drop her home. I won't be long. I just told you that breakfast is ready. I wasn't going there and get the toast. Listen, you have to eat. Honestly, darling, this you're about to do will get me really upset. Mm -hmm. I need you to sit down, give her 5,000 naira, she can get a taxi back home. Okay? Okay. Please sit. I'll just go in there and get the toast. All right. Um, hold on. Yeah, just leave this. What took you so long? I'm sorry, wrong timing. I had to eat and um, I have other engagements to do with my wife, so please take this 5,000 there and use to take a cab home. <laughs> what? I know I wanted the car, right? What's so wrong in taking a cab? Hmm? Please take the money and get a cab or don't you want my husband to rest? You, you want him to, to be all stressed out to drop you? Do you know what, Roland, you can just go and rest and when you're done resting, you can come out and, you know, we go. I'll just that be won't happen, Lydia. Today is Saturday and I'll be needing my husband to drive me to the market. I want to pick some things, all right? So just take the money and get a cab. Unless you're not willing to leave today, then so be it. You can sit back, right? Yeah, you're right. Have a lovely weekend. Better one for me. Please, I don't want you to ever drop out her, please. You should quit with the pampering. It's getting too much. I've noticed a whole lot of changes, and if I don't act now, things will turn around. I hope you understand this. I hope you don't feel bad. Of course I understand, my love. Okay? Don't Thank you, baby. I love you. I love you too. What is actually wrong with Mercy? The change was drastic. Like, I don't get it. Why all of a sudden she started having issues with everything I do? I hope it's not what I'm thinking. No. No. I hope she's not looking for a way to kick me out of that house permanently. It would be so unfair of her to do that to me after everything I have done for her. I won't even allow it to happen. I'm sure Roland will not let this happen. No, he can't. I mean, they both know how important I am to them. They know how much I want to be around them. Oh, am I just overthinking things? Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. Mm. Today is Sunday. 
<laughs> my beautiful wife. Hi, baby. Good morning. Good morning. You slept well. <sighs> oh my God, I did. My night was so sweet and one of the most peaceful nights I've had in a long while. <laughs> Without any interruption <laughs> or noise from the kitchen or the rooms. <laughs> I slept really well, baby. I know. <laughs> I had a peaceful night as well. No shouts, no arguments. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, today's Sunday. Um, oh. We need to get dressed, get prepared yeah. so we don't go to church like last week's Sunday. Uh, what are you doing? Do you have anything to do? Uh, maybe I'll just... Um, Boiled rice, white rice, and that's it. All right, get the tea to work. Okay. Okay, baby. Okay. So just go upstairs, freshen up, calm down, and eat. I made food, at least say thank you. Hello. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, this is hilarious. I'm baby. telling you. <laughs> you needed to see the way he was staggering. I could have laughed. His wife was just holding him, man. So, both of you are weak. And you left your visitor downstairs. I mean, who does that? Mercy. You as a housewife, you leave your visitor downstairs and you're gisting on and laughing with your husband. You're supposed to join me. I mean, let's gist. Have something to talk about. Maybe watch a show or watch a TV program or something. You're here gisting with your husband and your guest is downstairs and bored. No one to talk to. You're here laughing. What is funny? Join me, please. Stand up. Let's go and watch a show. Babe, I need you to remain here. I need to talk to her. Okay. <clears throat> you can join us. No. We can watch a show together if you want. Roland, Lily, please show us. Now. now. You can join us so we watch it. There's a beautiful show going on. As a family, you can watch it. What is the truth? Lydia? Yes, Messi? You've been doing this time and time again. And each time I keep quiet because of who you are. But, come on. 
Why do you keep interfering and intruding in my life, my marriage, everything that concerns me? Come on, why? Why did you barge in on us like that? Huh? Why? No, why? And what was, what were those things you said in there? It's our business if we choose to stay in the room the whole day, not yours. And if you're bored, you can go home. You have a house, right? Why can't you just leave? Go to your house. Mercy, what do you mean by I am interfering and intruding in your marriage? Hold up, wait. This makes sense to me now. Look, I know you're tired of seeing me in your house and you've been looking for a means through which you can send me out of this house. Percy, look at me. I'm not leaving this house. I won't. You cannot send me. In fact, you do not have the right to send me out of this house. Why wouldn't I? Because you are not the man of this house. Only Roland can send me out of this house, not you. For your information, Lydia, I am Roland's wife. And I don't need his permission to ask you out of this house. Oh. And just like you said, I've always wanted you out of the house. Yes, this minute you are going to leave this house. Right here, right now. Okay? Wait, is it because you have my spare key? You come in as you wish, unannounced, without my permission? Always in our faces? Why? Huh? Always sitting wrongly, controlling my husband and I? Why do you always do that? You talk when you're not supposed to talk. You say the wrong things every time. Sitting around. Huh? Always saying what you're not meant to say. Why do you always do this? Listen, you have a house. Alright? And I want you to go back to your house. Your rent is actually wasting away. Make good use of it. I don't want you here again. I need you to go right here, right now. Mercy, wait. What is my offense? What have I done wrong to you? Why are you bent on spoiling this beautiful friendship we have? You're, you, you know, you're, you're such an ingrate. Mercy, I put you in this position that you are today. Why are you being so wicked to me? Why do you hate me? Well, all I want you to do now is to pack your things, go back to your house, and you can count the good things you've done for my husband and I, since we are the bad people to you. That's okay, that's fine. I just need you to leave. I rest my case. Really? You regret this! Stand this! Why? Babe, calm down. Calm down, take it easy. You're blowing this whole thing out of proportion. Out of proportion? Really? Am I? This is something that I should have done a very long time ago. Right now, it has gotten up on. Oh, yes, nice. Really nice. You can go home now. You have a house. Oh, yes, she does. She needs to go. Because I don't even get it anymore. I don't. How can someone be in one's face every time prognosing? Look, we've been lenient with her which has been gradually trying to ruin us. I know this. I know this. I, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't just get it. Always prognosing down to our lovemaking. Huh? Down to when we're going to have babies. Is that right? Oh, no, now. Come on. This, this is just too much. If I don't do something about it just like I did, this will go crazy. Hey, hey. she's gone. Look, she's gone. Calm down. I'm happy you did this. I was even bothered. Okay? I just didn't want you to blow it out of proportion. Just calm down. You just said I'm blowing out Babe, of proportion. I'm so how sorry. are you happy? Calm down. Calm down, okay. <sighs> At least we can go back to our private lives. Hmm? That's just all I want. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I just hope you. <sighs> What have you come to do here? After insulting me before Roland, 
you still have the nerve to show up here. Now listen, if you've come here to beg me, well, I am sorry because I will not forgive you. So you can leave. My darling, on the contrary, I'm here to finish up what I started. I didn't want to say anything right in front of my husband, Roland. That's why I had to come here. You're officially banned and unwelcomed in my house. I don't want to see you in my house anymore. Hand me my key. The spare key, please. Your key. My spare key. Right here, right now. That's your key. Now get out of my house. I never you set those feet of yours into this house again. Get out. Why would I want to do that? Huh? I'm only asking you not to come because you've obviously abused every privilege I give to you. Like you're trying to ruin my marriage, Lydia. Come on. You're trying to ruin my marriage, Lydia? You're such an ingrate. You're a wicked soul, Mercy. You're a direct opposite to your name. Because you have no mercy, you don't get conscience. After everything I've done for you, I picked you from nowhere. Brought you into my house. Fed you. Even the job you have today, I gave it to you. Now you have the God to stand before me and tell me, never you come to my house. Don't do this. My husband. Which husband? I did everything, everything for me. So Lydia, should I leave at your mercy? Because you did everything for me. You boss me around. You're up all in our faces. You don't want me to enjoy my marriage. You're here, you're there, you're saying things you're not meant to say. You're just everywhere. You've been too pesky because you did everything for me. Huh? You even tell me when to make love to my husband. Gosh. Which husband? I'm asking you, which husband? The one I dashed you? Roland. Why didn't you tell me your genotype is AS? Why didn't you tell me yours is AS as well? You should have told me earlier. It didn't occur to me. We just focused on loving each other. I, I, I never thought of it. I, I... We've wasted five years of our lives for nothing. Because we're focused on loving, studying, and understanding each other. Now look at us. We can't get married. We can't have children. No, we can't. We can't. We can't focus on loving each other and making grievous mistakes that will haunt us for the rest of our lives. We can't. I... I, I don't know how I feel. I, I, what are we going to do? We just... We just have to find love elsewhere. Yes. You want to leave me? <sighs> Roland. Roland, you know I cannot live without you. I can't. I, I cannot get married to another person. It's only you. I, Lydia. I, I can't do it. Lydia, listen to me. I love you. I would always love you. We can't do this to ourselves. 
pictures. Yeah, I want to know. There's, there's always a way. There's, we, we can come up with something. We can even adopt uh, children if you want. I, I can do it. I, I, I don't mind. Please. Okay. So this is how I lost the love of my life. It is now done on me. Because I can't, for love, produce kids that are going to suffer. I think I need to go to my house. Hey, hey, um, please stay. Stay, stay with me today. Tomorrow you can go face the world, please. Just focus on loving each other. I, 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 I never thought of it. We can't focus on loving each other and making previous mistakes that will haunt us for the rest of our lives. Well, you know I cannot live without you. I can't. I, I cannot get married to another person. It's only you. I, I, I can't do it. Lydia, listen to me. I love you. I would always love you. We can't do this to ourselves. I just want to know. Go. I know we really had a good time. Let it go. I know we really had a good time. Let it go, I know we really had a good time. Baby, please don't say that. Let it go, I know we really had a good time. <laughs> now you're going to make me laugh out loud. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> um, baby, can I please call you back? Lydia? Oh my god, why the tears? Huh? I see I am dead. I just feel like dying. I I I just feel like dying. No. No, please don't don't say that. You you won't die. Why why would you want to die? I still want to see you. I'm risen enough for you to leave. You're, you, you're my friend. You've done so much for me that I have to repay you. Please, don't, don't even say that. What's the problem? Is it your boyfriend? Did you, did you find out anything? It's Roland. What did he do? Roland, Roland and I... Roland and I cannot... We can't get married. Why? Is he married? No. So why? We we both have the same genotype. Yes. We can't end up together. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. This is bad. How come you guys never knew about this? I mean, it's... Five years gone into courtship. So how? How come? We never thought about it. We were carried away by love and I I, I it never crossed my mind for once to you know to, to go check it. I I I I, I, I it's not your I, fault. It's, it's not your I'm sorry. This is really ah no 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 no. There's nothing to there's nothing to think about this now. There's nothing you can even do about it. 
all you have to do now is just to accept the fact and, and move on. Forget about Roland, sadly. I'm really sorry I'm saying this. Hush. Oh, I can't. I can't. I, I have tried. I have tried. But I can't. You know, it's Roland I've known my entire life. I cannot start now. Where, where do I start from? Don't worry, I know. I can't love anyone else if not Roland. And who said so? Of course you can. I see, you know. I you know. know I cannot. Calm down. Calm down, Lydia. You need to be calm. I know what you're going through right now. I know how you feel. But... I know. You, you, you feel like... Now you're about to leave the love of your life or this now this is happening it's like the world is crumbling on you now. I can understand this but please you just have to accept the fact and move on. It's so hard for me. It's for the best. Come. I'm really sorry, okay? It's just really hard. I just need to come back. I know this is going to be so hard for us, but I have accepted my fate. I know I can't end up with you. I know we can't get married. Please. I have one favor to ask of you. Please. Okay. Um, speak. You know I'll do anything for you. I don't want you to get married to a stranger. I want you to get married to someone that is close to us. Someone that understands us and our story. I don't want you to get married to someone that will shut the door to my face. I want someone that will understand that I can come in here at any time or come back into your life at any time. Because I can't live without you. Babe. No matter who I marry, the door to our friendship would always be open. You would always have access to my house. No, honey. You don't know what I'm talking about. I know women. I'm a woman. I know how we women we behave. Women are so dramatic and problematic. If you marry just anyone, they won't allow me to come back here. I won't be able to come and see you. Babe, what are you driving at? Please make me understand. Please, can you marry my friend Mercy? What? M babe, what, what, babe, what are you saying? Babe, look, look, I think you need to calm down. You need to calm down and think this through, okay? I what? have. I've done that over and over. I have done it. I've thought about this. This is the only option this is the only thing i want you to do please i know mercy she's a good i she's, she's she's kind she's nice she's loving and she doesn't have issues and only she understands what we are going through and only she will allow me to come back to this house every time i want so please and i i found out lately that her genotype is aa so you guys i match baby please I beg of you, just just this one favor. I just this. Babe. <sighs> Babe, this is ridiculous. I can't just jump into her life. That's not proper. Besides, she might even be dating someone. Um Yes, yes, she she has this unserious boyfriend. He, it's not something serious, they're just... Exactly my point, she has an auxious boyfriend, there's someone I she's seen. I can talk to her, I can talk to Mercy, she'll listen to me. 
I'm very sure she, she, she's going to accept it. Babe, please. I beg of you, please. Media. I've been trying to gain your attention all this while, but you, you wouldn't even give it. Huh? Can you just please stop? Look at the house. The house is now so boring because of your recent mood. And it's, I'm, I'm really getting worked up about it. For how long? You just sit there, sulk, cry, you've been moody, but all this won't even change the genotype. It won't. I just need you to kick off from that mood of yours. Try to brave up. Just be brave for me and trust me. Trust me, Lydia, you will get a man better than Roland, whose genotype will match yours. Trust me. It will. It will happen. All right? I just... I just need you to come out of that mood. It's not helping anything. Um... Anyways, uh... You know what? How about I take you out? No, I'm not asking. I am ordering you right now. I'm taking you out. You need to receive fresh air. You need to go to a fun field environment so you can get up from this mood. Get up. Up. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. I'm not taking no for an answer. I need you to get up right now. Up. Come on, fresh air. Is something very important. How important can it be that you can't wait till tomorrow, Lydia? I'll just go straight to the point. Mercy, I want you to marry my boyfriend. What? Are you okay? Can, can you hear yourself out? Lydia, wait, has it gotten to this? You want me to marry your boyfriend, Roland? Come on, what is all this now? Is this the cause of... Is this what the heartbreak has brought? Moreover, you know I have a boyfriend I love too much. I have my boyfriend, you... you... Please, please. Please. Just leave Maxwell out of this. We both know Maxwell is not serious. Yes, you love him, I know. What about him? Do you think he loves you that much to want to settle down with you anytime soon? No. Maxwell has a long way to go. You are a woman. He is a man. So think like a woman. Mercy, look. You are the only friend I have. And you know how much I love Roland. I can't just afford to lose him like that because of this genotype issue that is why i'm asking you to marry him so i can still have access to him i can still you know come around be with him and because you understand our story you understand what we are going through you understand what the situation is if you marry someone else whatever we share will be cut short Mercy, please. I know this is hard for you, but please just do it for me, please. I, I, I have never begged you for something. If this is the one thing I am begging you, please. You serious about this? With everything in me. Oh my God, this is crazy. I'll think about it. Mercy, thank you. Oh no, no, I. I haven't agreed, okay? I just said I'll think about it. Please. Thank you, Steve. I just just take your time and think about it. I know, I know you come up with something pleasing. Lydia, you need to listen to yourself. Come on.
In here is really hard to stay without you, you know. Mm. I pray, um, I pray God gives you someone that will be with you and love you. I'll be expecting you, okay? Love you, plenty. Bye. You're welcome, babes. Thank you. Um, Will you want anything? Oh, no, I'm fine. Thank Are you. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, concerning what we talked about the last time, it's, it's been five days already and you haven't given me an answer. Do you want to take forever to think about it? Lydia, the truth is I... I don't know what to think about. Honestly, I, ca I can't even wrap my head around it. It, it sounds so wrong. Oh. How? Oh. Mercy, I have told you Roland is a good guy. I know him. Look, I can't just wake up and just want to, you know, link you up with any kind of person. I know Roland. You just, I, I, pro I promise you, you will not regret this for your entire life. He's a nice man. I mean, he's a prayer answer to every woman. You've seen him. He's nice. He's cute. He's intelligent. He's young. He's handsome. He's wealthy. What else do you really want in a man? I mean, Roland has all of it. Oh, my God. That's it. So, okay. How will this, this thing work? That's a yes. That's a yes. <laughs> Yes. Mercy, thank you. Oh, hey, thank you so much. No, it's okay. What a friend told. Oh, thank you. See, <laughs> I'm telling you this, you will not regret this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fine. What a thank friend told. So <laughs> My wife. <laughs> hey. There's no need to be sad. Okay. We've accepted our fate and decided to move on. So, just chill, okay? Don't need to be sad. Besides, there's this saying that sadness and tears spoils one's favor. <laughs> now, that's the smile I was looking for. So, um, tell me what's next. Well, I I spoke to her and she accepted to meet you. So I told her you guys are going to meet in my house. Please, just be nice to her. I I know deep down you're not really comfortable doing this, but for my sake, just just flow along. Just make her feel comfortable. Don't make her feel like I begged you to do this. I know Mercy. She's a nice person and you're going to love her. I've listened to everything you've said. And you know I'll do anything for you. So, I promise to be nice. I'm going to miss you forever. I'm going to miss you too. I love you. So, 
beautiful. Oh my god, this is so nice. Yes. Oh, you're so lucky. I don't know. I wasn't even expecting the question. He just popped it and mm. I was so shocked. I know. <laughs> well, he told me about it, so I was expecting this. Oh my <laughs> friend, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. God bless you. Thank you. I'm so delighted. I'm so happy I said yes. Don't worry, my friend. Just as God used you to get my perfect man, my Mr. Right, without any stress, God will surprise you. You'll Amen. get your own Mr. Right without looking too far, without any skin pain. Amen. you say I said it. Amen. You're such a true friend. Amen. Thank you that's, so that's much. That's fine. Love already. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. I can't even contain my it's joy. Fine. I think we should go out. Maybe drink. Right? Oh, yes. Sean, come on. <laughs> Congratulations. Don't need to remind you that that husband, the house, and even this marriage which you carry on your head like a plate of, 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 of cabbage, I gave it to you. I gave you everything. You gave me everything. Yes. So I ask again, Lydia, because you gave me everything, should I live at your mercy because you gave me everything? Huh? What? Listen, you only count the good you've done for me. Forgetting the good I did for you. You begged me. You pleaded with me to get married to your boyfriend, Roland. I didn't want to. You practically drew me out from a relationship I cherished so much. You took me away from the love of my life. All because of your selfish interest. All because you wanted to stay close to Roland. Now I know how close you want to be with him. It's all because of your selfish interest. I am disappointed at you. And do I look like I care? I only came here to tell you that I don't want to ever see you in my house. I don't want to see you there. I just want you to let me enjoy my marriage. The same marriage which you practically initiated. Oh yes, you initiated it. So why can't you just let me enjoy my marriage? Huh? Let me build. Let me enjoy it. This marriage is still new. Keep off. The same marriage I initiated. The same man I gave you. My man. I gave him up for you. And now this. Mercy you will suffer. I promise you, you will know no joy in that marriage. The same husband you were rubbing to my face will maltreat you. You will feel ten times the pain I am feeling. You will suffer. You will weep. Hey, honey. Come here. Mm. Mm. How are you? I'm okay. Where are you coming from? Um, I went to Lydia's house. Okay. I actually went to get the spare key from her. And I told her that I wouldn't want to see her in this house anymore. I told her off, babe. Oh, okay. Well, hey. Look, I wouldn't want you guys to stop being friends in as much as whatever you're doing is for the sake of the family, okay? I support you full time. I know, babe. I didn't want to say any of that sort right before you because I knew that it would hurt you. That's why I had to go all the way to her house. 
but you saw what she was doing, right? I hope you understand this. She was up all in our faces. She, she was abusing the privileges we gave her to stay in this house. Like she was actually running our lives for us. Please, I hope you, I hope you understand this. Honey, I do. I understand, okay? And like I said earlier, I support your decision. Okay? Thank you, baby. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. And I love you right back. <laughs> All right, um, I'll be back, okay? Okay, baby. <laughs> Yeah, hello? I'm sorry about what's been going on, okay? Um, I was I was gonna call you, but I've been busy with work. Look, I just think you shouldn't come to the house again so you could just avoid issues. I hope you understand. No, I won't accept that. How can I stay without seeing you? No, please, I'm coming to the house. I'm coming to the house. Please, I'm coming to your house. Look, you can't come to the house. Okay, I just don't want any problems. I don't want both of you having a fight or something. Please. Okay? Yes, but I'm not accepting that. I can't. I'm calm. Okay, fine. If you want to come, it's okay. But well, Messi is at home and she didn't go to work today. And I doubt she's going to open the door for you. Okay. Thank you. See you later. Hey, What kept you so long? What kept me so long? How? Lydia, it's so clear you enjoy embarrassment. I tried so hard just for this not to happen, but it's so clear this is what you want. I've told you countless times that I do not want to see you here, that you shouldn't come here. So what are you doing here? Do you know I am standing under the sun? Can you just let me inside the house, please? Just stop being an ingrate for once and let me in. Oh my goodness, Lydia, it is so clear. Leave. Out. You're not. You're sick in the head. Are you okay? Are you for real? What makes you think I'll let you in? Mercy, you won't let me in? No, I wouldn't. Into a house I brought you into. You won't let me in? <sighs> Lydia, just get out. Mercy, you... Get out! Mercy, get out! Mercy, are you sending me out of you my... You are sick! Leave! Do you know I came here first before... Mercy! Mercy! Open this gate now! Mercy! I was here before you open this gate now! Mercy! Okay. I know what to do. I know what to do. Mercy, open this gate so you may... Mercy! Hello? Um, are you sure she's around? Is she inside? Um, look Lydia, please, um, why don't you just go home, okay? I don't want you both creating a scene in that neighborhood or something. Mercy was firm on a decision not to allow you in and I don't want any troubles, okay? So just, you know, just go back home.
Uh, look, we didn't plan anything, okay? Please, we didn't plan anything. Okay, you know what? Just hold on. I would call her and get back to you. I just know Messi is feeling the decision, okay? But just please hold on. I'll call you back and I'll call her and I'll call you back. Okay. Hello, honey. Baby, good evening. Yeah, good evening, my love. Um, Lydia said that um, she's at the gate and she's been knocking and you refused to open up. Really? Okay, then she has to stay there like forever because I told her not to come to this house. But she felt that it was an empty threat. The doors to this house have been finally shut out to her. I couldn't open it. My love, my love, please calm down now, eh? You know Lydia, she's your friend. You know her and her attitude. Eh? Just take it little. Easy, easy on her. Small, small. You know how we are managing her. Just allow her in. Eh? I'm sure she has listened to the things that you complain about that she does. Eh? Just allow her in, please. Babe, I will not agree to what you just said. I don't want to disobey you, but I'm sorry right now I have to disobey you. I will not open the door for her. She's not coming in. No. Uh uh, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, no problem. Bye bye, bye bye. I would see you soon. I'll be back home soon, okay? All right, darling. Bye. See you. Silly. You must be sick in the head. I will not let you in. You can stand there for all I care. Fish. Mercy! Mercy! Hello? Yeah, hello Lydia. Um I have spoken to her, but I'm so sorry I was unable to influence her decision. So I just suggest you go back home, please. You don't want to have problems with your wife? Roland, are you for real? No, no, no. So your wife is more important to you than me. Roland! You know what? I'm not leaving this gate. I am waiting for you here until you come back. I won't go anywhere. I'm waiting for you. Um, no, look, I, I'm not coming back soon. I'm with assistance. I'm even out of the city. Okay, so I don't want you to just keep standing there now. You know what? Just go. I'm not around. And I don't think I'll be coming back anytime soon. So I don't want you to just be there standing and, you know, people just keep looking at you. Okay, you know what will happen? I'll come see you. Okay? Please. Messi embarrassed me. What about this son? I had no... This, this thing is not fair now. It's not fair. It's getting out of hand. Okay, I I will, I will. Hello? 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 The future is brighter. Let it go. I know we really had a good time. Hello. Um, look, it wasn't as if I didn't want to respond to your calls or something, but look, I'm not comfortable with us meeting in the hotel room or behind closed doors. You know, I'm married. I'm married and I'm married to your best friend. Must you rub it to my face every time? I know that you're married. Roland, what about me? Do you care about me? What about my feelings, my welfare, my emotions? You don't care about that. What? Why is it easy for you to forget about everything that we shared? I miss you. I miss how you, you used to kiss me, how you touch me, and how you were, I just miss everything. Please, just... Lydia, Lydia, look, we have to stop this. Look, we need to stop this. I'm married. I need to concentrate on my wife. What wife? I miss you. Just touch me. That is all I'm asking.
It's past 8 p.m. And my wife hasn't been calling. What did you make me do now? Mm -hmm. Babe! Hey. He's still as hot as always. I can't wait to have more. <laughs> this is so unusual of him. He's not taking on his way, he's not taking his call. Because if he's on his way, he can take my call. So what's the problem? to get so worried Why weren't you taking my calls? Did you meet her? Who? Of course you know who. Lydia, did you meet her? No, I, I didn't. For real, I, I didn't. Yeah, I had to tell her that I was not in town. She's been bugging my phone and disturbing me, but I didn't pick up and I didn't meet with her. So sorry, you know. We closed from work pretty late, and my boys, my boss decided to take uh, my colleagues and I for a little chill. So I guess that's when your call came in. You know, we're having drinks and all. I'm so <sighs> sorry. So I'm sorry. Just so, I'm so scared. And, you know, it has never happened. I know. I know. Hey, so now you've hung out with your boss. I doubt you still have space in your belly for my meal. <laughs> what? Babe, we just had uh, beer and meat and... I can't... Are you kidding me? I have to eat my wife's food! <laughs> hey, yeah. hey. I'm sorry, okay? Hmm? I love you. I love you too. Mwah. Now, look at my food. I'm so hungry. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to miss this today. Enough of this, Lydia. Please don't call my phone by this time of the night. Please, you know I'm a married man. Hold on. Don't hang up yet. I couldn't resist the urge to hear your voice. But before I hang up, I want to thank you for giving it to me the way you want it today. You know, I really missed every bit of you. Hey. 
Lydia is out of her mind. I'm married to her best friend. She seems to have forgotten that. Ha! <sighs> So why are you here without your information? Hello, handsome. How are you? <laughs> mm. Well, let's just say I decided to come take you out for lunch. I mean, it's lunch time. What are you still doing there working? Well, my wife is on her way here. She called me. She's bringing my lunch. So I suggest you leave, please. Your wife? Wow. Lunch at work. That is impressive. You know, Lydia, I don't know what you're playing at. Okay? I don't know if you're trying to separate us. But this path you're taking is leading to destruction. Yes, you endured so much, so much pain bringing us together. Now I can feel you're strongly trying to separate us. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm not laughing Stop. here. I'm not laughing, please. Look, I suggest you just leave. I should leave. Are you sure you want me to leave? Just please leave. I don't want any problems. I don't want my wife coming here and seeing you. Okay. Mm. Well, I will leave in one condition. That you're going to promise me that you come for me later. Look, I can't promise you anything. Please just leave me. You have office. to promise. I can promise you that. I can't, I'm not, I can't promise you that. Please. So let it go. I know we really had a good time. Let it go, I know we really had a good time <sighs> Babe mm -hmm. I'm expecting to miss my period this month Really? <laughs> I can't wait for good news then Yeah Look, whether now or whether later the good thing is the doctor said we're in perfect health and you're going save soon, okay? So, um, just leave everything in the hands of God. Mm-hmm. And don't get yourself worked up about that. I'm already beginning to get worked up. Leave it. Okay? Everything's going to be fine. Hmm? What was that? Uh, Alert? <laughs> <laughs> no, just uh, network messages. You know. oh. Yeah. Let's go to bed. Okay?
can't get enough of you. I just wish you can come here every day. I've missed you so much. Look, I'm not comfortable with this blackmail. I can't keep cheating on my wife. We need to just, you know what, we need to get over with this whole thing. Why? Why? You were mine first, remember? I gave you to her. So I can have you at any time I want. Can you just stop acting like a kid for once and behave like a man that you are? Besides, she's not going to find out unless you tell her. So relax, please. Just have fun while it lasts. I want to go home. Hold me. Hold me. What it is meant to call me. I just hope nothing is wrong with my husband and I just hope he's safe out there. I don't even know who to call. Dear customer, the number you have dialed is currently switched off. <sighs> Try again later. Good morning. Ah, babe, I'm so sorry I made you sleep on the couch. You didn't come back home throughout last night. I called you, right? I did. I know. And your phone was switched off. Why? My colleague had uh, a surprise party for her husband and we were there. Had a whole lot to drink and I slept off. I didn't even know my phone was out. And you did not try to look for a way to, to reach me somehow? Your phone was switched off. Why was it switched off? Babe, I'm so sorry. I never even knew my battery was flat out. Um, look, it'll never happen again, okay? I'm so sorry. So how didn't you look for a way to charge it? I was worried. I'm sorry. It'll never happen again, okay? Please. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Babe, what are you thinking? Never mind. Okay, I'm listening. Um, it's concerning your your recent attitude. I, I don't know what what triggered your your, your sudden change in, in attitude, but I, I really need to know if I did something wrong. Please let me know so I can amend it. This is really breaking me, baby. What did I do wrong? 
I, I really need you to tell me so, so that you can, you can stay away from the distractions outside. Mercy. Yes. Are you locking anything in this house? Yes, I'm, I'm lacking everything I, I need in this house. Your love, care, your pampering, your, your attention, your company. I'm, I'm lacking my husband, baby, and I miss you so much. I miss us. Okay. I've heard you. I have a meeting for 8.30. Would you be kind enough to make me breakfast? Yeah, sure, I... The dinner I made for you is still down there at the dining table and, and now I'll have to clear it away. No problem, I'll just... I'll just make breakfast. I don't know what the outcome of this meeting will be. But nevertheless, Maxwell will not force me into doing anything. And this will be a medium for me to apologize to him for hurting him the way I did. I left him and, and I jumped into this marriage. This marriage that I really don't understand now. Great to meet me. I have always wanted us to, to sit and talk like this. So tell me, how is marriage? How is life? Why would you be asking me about my marriage? Life is okay. You don't need to know about my marriage. <laughs> Missing those who are happy in their marriages do not avoid to talk about it. You're not looking bad, but I feel you that you are not happy in that marriage. Uh, fine, if you don't want to talk about it, go. Oh. But I know how to find my information. So how is work? Um, work is fine. Everything is fine. How have you been? How's work and life in general? As you can see, I'm good. Work is fine. I thank God. I really see you're doing good for yourself. I thank God for that. Um, Maxwell, I actually honored this invitation because I would want to use this as a medium to apologize to you based on the way I just left without, without any explanation. Lots of things came up. You were not in the country. Situations coming up here and there. I didn't have the chance to explain to you. So I pray that you should find a place in your heart to forgive me. I'm sorry. Um. I don't really have anything against you. Yes, I wasn't ready. Oh, you should have waited. Right now, it's nothing we can do about it because I'm married and I love my husband. Yes, I wasn't ready. Listen, if this marriage is not working, Please, I beg you, come back to me. I will still marry you. This is not what we should be talking about here now, Maxwell. What is wrong with you? Huh? Get out. 
What is wrong with you? You see, I can't resist you. No, you have to resist me. No, do, do, do not even touch me. Do not try anything of that sort. I'm married and I'm... Don't... Just shut me. Get out! I can't keep doing this to my wife. I can't keep betraying her. We need to stop this. I'll be hurting a faithful woman, you know? I'll be hurting a faithful woman, you know? Who is faithful? Huh? I'm asking you, who is faithful? Where, well, Loga? As I'm talking to you right now, your wife is with her ex and they are making out. So better focus on us. With her ex? How did you get such information? Well, let's just say I get every information about everything and everyone that matters to me. And you, Roland, happens to be one of those things. Oh, it's a gig, Lane. You went out where? Where are you coming from? Well, um, I went to see a friend. Um, some guy I used to date before I got married to you. You went to see a friend? Some guy you used to date? Mercy! Mercy, you went to see your ex? In a hotel room? A married woman like you, are you ashamed of, are you, are you ashamed of yourself? Roland, are you stalking me? Like, I don't understand. How did you... Okay, fine. I just went to see Maxwell. He's the guy I used to date before I got married to you, but nothing went wrong. I didn't do anything. You did not do anything wrong! You stand here to tell me you didn't do anything wrong! Mercy! Mercy, how dare you! How dare you cheat on me with, with your ex? Wait, I... Why are you already concluding I cheated on you? How long has this been going on? What, you, what are you talking about? How long has what been going on? Wait, is that what you're doing too? Are you cheating on me with your ex? I've already told you nothing happened. I didn't do anything wrong. It's left for you to take it or not. Mercy! Mercy, how do you... Mercy! How do you walk out with me, Mercy? This whole marriage is crumbling before my eyes. It's no longer working. I was so foolish to have fallen for this marriage. To marry this man just for the sake of Lydia. And now, I am the one suffering it all. I've never imagined that I would marry twice. And I don't want it. Oh God, how can I save my husband? How can I save this marriage? What do I do to keep this family?
Hello. Hello, baby. How are you? Maxwell, please do not ever call me baby. I'm somebody's wife. Listen, Mason. You can't be suffering like this. You're still very young and pretty and you deserve all the happiness in this life. Now, listen, this is not the Maxwell you used to know. I am now matured. This will be different if you come back to me. Now listen to me. Whether or not I am happy in this marriage is none of your business, okay? I got into it myself, so you should just stay out of it. Please stop calling me. I'm in my husband's house. Yep. Wait. Hello? Hello? She ended the call. <laughs> Why won't she end the call? She already know that you're about to ruin her life. Baby, I do not like what you are doing to this lady. I mean, she's a married woman. And from the look of things, she is faithful to her husband. Why are you trying to scatter her emotions and destroy her marriage? Which marriage? Which husband? That man is cheating on her with her best friend. I want her out of that marriage. She is suffering there. Um, wait, I don't understand. You want a married woman out of a marriage? Why? I Wait. Don't tell me you still have feelings for her. Oh, you want to leave me and go for her? You want to get married to her? Come on, Tina Law. Stop it. You know I can't leave you for any man. Just that I, I have a plan. Oh. I plan something. Just get ready, let me drop you. I want to see somebody. It's very important. Honey, um, food is served. Please come and eat, darling, please. This is not the life I wanted for myself. How long will I continue to live this unhappy life? This is not my dream marriage. This is not my dream family. Maybe God didn't give me a child yet because, because of this sadness. God, how... How will my child even cope in an unhappy family like this? Everything happens for a reason. Let's try to understand the nature. Life is all about understanding. Understanding makes a difference. We could be close friends, but we we'll have our boundaries. So don't get it so twisted. We could be close friends, but not suffocating. Everything will be okay. Don't be carried away with your emotions. That might lead to destruction. Just let things to be. Cause the future is brighter. Don't be carried away with your emotions. So just let this to be. Yeah. The future is bright. I was surprised, but I'm so happy that you called. I mean, I never expected your call. And Mercy, did she tell you she went to her ex-boyfriend's house? Look, 
I don't want to talk about her, please, okay? Let's just forget about her. You know, Messi is such a pretender. Always acting like the good one. Always acting so innocent and trying to put out this, this, this whole impression of she being a good girl, good wife and, you know, perfect girl. Hmm. Slow water, the sea runs very deep. So she had the audacity to go and meet a man. Um, I just said I don't want to talk about her. Can we just keep it apart? Or do you want me to go to the office? No, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I didn't, I didn't, I don't want you to leave. Please. I won't talk about her again. Uh, hello there. Um, I don't know why I'm always begging you to come out. This is something the other ladies seek but can't find. Uh, it's for your own good. Your mental health. Maybe your husband is, is in a hotel right now having fun with some other girl and you are there at home stressing your hell on how to make your family work. And this person you are working with is catching crews out, out there. Listen, I still love you. And I know you don't want me anymore, but just come out. Come have fun tonight. It's for your own good. Good. Now you are talking. Just test me when you are coming, okay? Alright. Thank you. What game are you playing with this woman, Matsuo? I'm no longer comfortable with it. I mean, this lady in question is your ex and you once loved her. Maxwell, I am warning you. Leave this woman to her marriage. Please! <laughs> Unless maybe you still want her back, then you should go ahead and say it other than playing all this game. I don't, I don't understand what you're doing. Tina, Tina, relax now. You do the bad herself. See, Tina, you know I cannot leave you for any woman. Eh? I can't even go out without you. Relax. You know what I'm doing. I should relax. I should calm down. The office. Yeah. Hello. Um. What? I thought I said you should cancel all my. You already concluded. Okay. Um. I'll be there. I'll be there in a, few, in a minute. Okay. All right. Mostly. Yeah, baby, I have to get to the office, okay? Yeah. But um, I'll be back once maybe I'm done, okay? So just stay right here. Okay. And wait for me. Let me see. Mm. You know I love you so much. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so babe, when are we going to that? Let's try to put me to the other day. Mm. Okay, let's see how tomorrow goes. Are you sure? Oh, ah, sure. Mm. <laughs> I love the meat. Yeah, it's Asu. I love it so much. It was nice. What? She's got it. She's got it. Hello there. You on your way already? All right. Okay. Ah, oh, baby. Maxwell, please. I do not like this. I don't like this game you are playing with us. I don't like this game you are playing with me. What, what's the meaning of all this now? Just just go out. Just hang out somewhere. Hmm? Oh, I, I should, I should, I should go out. Here. I should hang out somewhere. Okay. Thank you. Don't touch me. Don't touch me.
Mary. Hi, You're Maxwell. Welcome. Please sit down. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. You look stunning. Thank you. It's, it's actually nice to see you after a long while. Me too. It's nice to see you. So how have you been? Oh, thank God. And you? Good. Fine. <laughs> oh. Missy. Do you really still want to remain with that man who doesn't see your face? No love? No caring, no attention. Makes him not even a child. What is he keeping you there? What is your drive and happiness? What is your stronghold? At least in a marriage, there should be something you are holding up to. And the worst, the worst is that this man doesn't value you. He don't even know your worth. I'm sorry I spoiled your mood. You deserve to be happy. You are too young to be suffering. File a divorce, please. What? Yes. No, I can't do that. I'll keep on holding on until I can decide what's next. And I love my husband. That's my stronghold. Did you say love? Yes, I do. And it's fine. But just be careful. Open your eyes wide. Uh, the fact remains that no one is faithful. I'm sorry you are going through all this, but it's all your fault. You should have waited. You should have married a better man. No, no, not that man. Um, Maxwell. I just want to be married once in my lifetime. So I have to make this work. I have to. Right now, I'm not going to fall for any temptation that would come with this season because I know that it will pass. I just have to be strong for my husband. I... I just have to be strong. Mason. You know I still love you. Yes. Wait, um... Wait. Wait. Just... Maxwell, stop. This is the reason I never wanted us to see. We're not even meant to be seen behind closed doors. What are you trying to do? I'm married. I'm someone's wife. Please, don't you ever call me again. All right? Don't try to reach out to me. I'm married. I love my husband. And I cannot stray. Have a good day. Bye. Uh, um, wait. No. wait, let me drop you off. We could be close friends, but we'll have a band race. So don't get it so twisted. We could be close friends, but not suffocating. All right, Maxwell. Thank you for the ride. You're welcome. Anything for you, my love. Um, please, don't forget all I've said to you, okay? Please, just come back to me when you finally decided to leave him. I'm still waiting for you. I have heard you, Maxwell, but I want you to know this. What you wish for will never happen. I'm not leaving my husband, all right? And you should move on too. Please, don't call me your love or your baby. I am... I belong to someone else now. Do have a nice day, okay? Hello. Hi. Good day. Madam Mercy. You're grieving in your marriage. It's not working for you. Listen to me. You are sharing your problems with the wrong people. And if you are not careful, the worst is yet to happen. Listen, 
try everything that you can to stop your husband from cheating. Yes, stop your husband from seeing that woman, else you will lose your marriage. Um, please, ma'am, who are you and how do you know all of these? Who am I? Or the solution to your problems? Oh, yes, um, please, I'm sorry, I, I truly need a solution to my problem. I don't know who to talk to. My, my marriage is crashing before my eyes. I, I really need help. Please. If you were paying attention to me, you would know that I just gave you the solutions to your problems. Have a nice day. Wait, I, I, I was listening. I, excuse me, ma. Who is she? You are sharing your problems with the wrong people. And if you are not careful, the worst is yet to happen. Listen, try everything that you can to stop your husband from cheating. Yes, stop your husband from seeing that woman, else you will lose your marriage. Who are my close friends that are trying to put me to do? God, household enemies are difficult to deal with. Please, Lord, direct me on what I should do. Who is that lady? How come she knows my name? She knows so much about me. <sighs> or is it a strategy from the enemy to trigger me to do something? Something that finally I'll regret. God, I never imagined a day like this will come when I'll be fighting to save my marriage. See, I ran from the office to pharmacy. Immediately I received your call. You know what? Mm -hmm. Just eat so you can take your drugs. Okay. okay. <laughs> Easy. Just rest your back here. Eat so you can take your drugs. I love you so much. I love you too, baby. Let's get to it soon. I know, I will. Thank you. Babe, I really don't have appetite. Maybe I should just take No, just, just eat a little so you can... Mm -mm, I don't have appetite. I should have waited for, for Maxwell. I should have just 
ignored Lydia's deceitful tears and wait for Maxwell instead of getting married to Roland. I want us to talk. There is something very important. How important can it be that we can't wait till tomorrow, Lydia? I'll just go straight to the point. Mercy. I want you to marry my boyfriend. What? Are you okay? Can, can you hear yourself out? Lydia! Wait, has it gotten to this? You want me to marry your boyfriend, Roland? Come on, what is all this now? Is this the cause of... Is this what the heartbreak has brought? Moreover, you know I have a boyfriend I love too much. I have my boyfriend. You, you... Please, please. Please. Just leave Maxwell out of this. We both know Maxwell is not serious. Yes, you love him, I know. What about him? Do you think he loves you that much to want to settle down with you anytime soon? No. Maxwell has a long way to go. You are a woman. He is a man. So think like a woman. Mercy, look. You are the only friend I have. And you know how much I love Roland. I can't just afford to lose him like that because of this genotype issue. That is why I'm asking you to marry him. So I can still have access to him. I can still, you know, come around, be with him. And because you understand our story, you understand what we are going through, you understand what the situation is. If you marry someone else, whatever we share will be cut short. Mercy, please. I know this is hard for you, but please just do it for me, please. I, I, I have never begged you for something. If this is the one thing I am begging you, please. You're serious about this? With everything in me. Oh my God, this is crazy. I'll think about it. Mercy, thank you. Oh, no, no, I, I haven't agreed, okay? I just said I'll think about it. Please. Thank you, Steve. I just, just take your time and think about it. Now, between Lydia and I, who is actually married to my husband? God, God, what is all this? Please, I'm so confused. God, come and help me. A second marriage is not an option. This is not just what I want. I just want to stay in this one and make it work. As it is, my, my husband is deeply rooted with his ex. Oh, God, please give me a sign. I beg you. I am so tired. Babe, why are you at him now? Oh, am I? Yes. <laughs> I don't understand. What do you expect me to do? For the past how many days you've been talking to another woman? Your ex! Calling her my love, baby, dear. And you expect me to be clapping for you or what? Please, I'm a woman. Oh, Tina. But I've told you, this is a game. And it involved money. If it is something that would hurt you, I would have been making all these calls in your presence. Mm. It's a game. Well, I'm just saying my mind though. Because before you know it, Maxwell is with the ex. <laughs> that, oh, you're laughing. It's funny. Stop. Don't worry. Eh? I will buy you stick sweets. Huh? Mm -hmm. What are you See, I don't want to laugh. <laughs> just leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm not happy. Leave it's, me. Leave me. Just leave. Now that I have my Roland back, I feel accomplished and happy. I am proud of myself. <laughs> now I can have him away 
when and however I want. And as for that stupid mercy, I am happy I have finally chased her out of the house. What was she thinking? Such a stupid girl. I made you. I can destroy you. You're such a fool. I will get another wife for Roland. Yes. I'll get him a good and a decent girl. Someone I can control and manipulate. That way I can have access to Roland anytime I want. Poor Mercy. You will go back to nothing. I know really had a good time. Let it go. I know really had a good time. Let it go. I know really had a good time. Let it go. I know really had a good time. Everything happens for a reason. Let's try to understand in each other. Roland. Life is all about understanding. understanding. Roland. Roland. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Um, I want to congratulate you. You're now free to move ahead with your girlfriend. No, no, don't, please. Don't even give me that look. I know everything. I know you've been going to see Lydia. You've been going to her house. You've been sleeping with her. You've been taking her to hotels. But that's okay. That's fine. All I want now is, is for you to move along with her. It's fine. You can even bring her to this house. And if you choose to get married to her, despite the fact that your gender type doesn't match, it's fine and good. I wish you both luck. I can't continue like this. I mean, I'm, I'm still young. I need to be happy. I need to find happiness. I cannot just stay here and waste away in abject sorrow. To even think I, I left the love of my life, Maxwell, just to be with you. And this is what you and Lydia do to me. Oh no, this is too much. Good luck again. I'm going. Goodbye. Babe, babe, oh, babe, 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 listen, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know what to do. Uh, yes, please, babe, listen to me now. I didn't know what to do. I was just carried away. Babe, I need you. I need you to help me. I need you to support me. I and Lydia are really too close. I find myself hard to detach from her. Please, I need you. But I tried to make this work, Roland. You're not helping me to help you. I was trying so hard and, and, and then you switched and, and your character changed. You, you went running back to her. Let me just leave. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. I need you. I need my family. I need my sanity. Please. Please. So, how, how am I sure you're not just trying to deceive me? Because you've really betrayed me a lot and it has broken me. How am I sure? I promise you that if you support me and stay with me, I would never disappoint you again, please. How, how am I sure you don't, you're not trying to deceive me? How? I mean, you, you've really broken me. Sorry. You've betrayed me. Sorry, please, 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 please don't leave, please, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I love you. It was fine. Roland, baby. <laughs> um, actually, I am on my way to the hotel. Uh, no, I won't be able to come. Uh, why don't we just meet at home? I don't want to come to your house. I don't want 
want that your stupid wife to insult me. Please. Uh, no worry, it's fine. Mercy is not home, okay? So just come on, come to the house. Not here. She not sent my house. She message travel, right? Yes, she did. Um, just sit. Come on. Don't worry. Just sit down, okay? You sure? Yeah. Okay. Sit. sit. So, what do I, what do I offer you? Or anything. Anything. Let's mm put -hmm. <laughs> you in here. You call yourself my friend. You claim to be my friend. Yet, this is what you do to me. You know too well I was in a relationship, but you pleaded that I marry Roland. You had to drag me out of my relationship from the love of my life, and I accepted. I accepted just to make you happy. I accepted because, because of everything you did for me. Now what happened? I get into my home, my marriage, and you make it a living hell for me. You wouldn't let me enjoy my marriage. Why? Please, please, please. I am not caught up for this bullshit. Roland, what is going on here? Um, <clears throat> Lydia, I loved you. I paid your school fees. I paid your hospital bills. I took care of your family. But nature did not allow us to end up together. You introduced me to your friend. She even left the person she was supposed to marry and got married to me. But so be it. After a long while, we fell in love with each other. Lydia, I love my wife. I love her so much. I called you here so I could clear the air. I'm done with this hide and seek games, hanky panky and all. Please, move on, okay? Please. Mr. Roland, if you look me in the face and tell me all of this. Yes. Lydia, look. This woman is all I've got. I can't be playing such games. Please, look for love somewhere else, okay? I'm done with this thing. Lydia, Roland and I are madly in love with each other. And please, you just have to accept this. And it won't still change anything. It won't still change the fact that we're still friends with you. You're still part of the family. I'm sorry. carried away by my emotions. I didn't plan for all of this to happen this way. Mercy, you know how much I love Roland. I know. And I really appreciate it. That was the reason I initially allowed you into my home in the first place. But right now, you are overstepping your boundaries. You're crossing the line. Come on, with this attitude, you can't even find someone else you could love. You can't be married to both of us. This is, this is our home now. You're up all in our faces. Please, just, just lean back. 
Mercy. Look, I am sorry. I am so sorry. I I couldn't just accept the fact that you you were having Roland all to yourself. Please. Just find a place in your heart to forgive me. I promise you I won't I won't do it again. I have repented from all of this and I am moving on. Please. And also I want to apologize for bringing Maxwell back into your life. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hi. Hi, Maxwell. This is um this is Lydia, Mercy's friend. It has been a long time. How are you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> I knew you were going to remember me. <laughs> I mean, we were family back then. I'm fine. How are you doing? I thank God you remembered me today. Oh, I always do. I always do. Just that I've been so busy with work and, you know, other things. But I think about you every time. <laughs> I mean, you were my, my friend's supposed husband. So? Your friend suddenly abandoned me and got married and you didn't even do anything about it just because I traveled. No, no, don't say that. I, I, I mean, I always wanted you to end up with mercy. Why would you say I abandoned you? I didn't do that. And the marriage we she got into hasn't really been going well with her. The man is a really wicked man. He's been maltreating her. If you see mercy, I swear to God, you will not believe it's mercy. Um, but have you called her since you came back? Well, I didn't call her because I don't have a new line. Oh, that is not an issue. I'm, I mean, I will send her number to you on WhatsApp. This is your WhatsApp line, right? Sure. Okay, okay. I'll do that. Um... Um, Maxwell, I don't want you to feel like I'm asking for too much, but can you come over to my house so we can talk more? There is something I want us to talk about, very, very important. That if you still care about Mercy, which I know you do. Okay, I will come. Oh, thank you so much. My friend's husband. <laughs> Alright, bye. You're good. I was like, this one you called me today to come see you. I hope all is well. No. All is not well. All is not well at all. Not, nothing is moving. What's the problem? It's my friend, Mercy. Mercy is suffering in that marriage. Mercy has gotten herself into a very big mess. The man she got married to is a chronic cheat. He cheats on everything or with everything. Man, woman, sometimes even children. Yes. The last time I saw Mercy, I could not recognize my friend. It's like the man has been using hammer to hit Mercy. All her face, her eye, everywhere was just swollen. I, I, I really feel bad for her. I, I, I don't know. I, I didn't know who to go to or where to go to. You were the only one that came to my mind because, you know, as old time friends and uh, old time lover, it's only you I could run to. That is why I, I had to ask you to come to my house today so we can look for remedies to, 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 for this situation. Uh, you see, I'm getting married soon. I have moved on with my life. She was the one who left me. You're getting married? Yes. Hey. I said it. You never liked Mercy. In fact, you never loved her. You were using my friend. I loved her so much. But you will not know the true intention of a poor man. As I didn't have money then, all I could offer were just works. Yes. 
Always. Now that you're here, let's talk on how we want to save Mercy. See, I, lo I love Mercy. And I, I can't stand seeing her suffering like this. That's why I'm begging you. Just, just do this for old time's sake. Do this for the love of your life. See, I know that Mercy will come back to you. If you call her, maybe tell her where you people can meet and, you know, do like old times. And I believe she will come and, you know, you, you know where to, you, you, I mean, you're her first love. And women hardly forget their first love. You just know where to press and what to say. She's back to you. I promise you, you just, let, let, let's save her, please. All right. I'm in. in. Yes. I will need all the necessary details to be kind. Sure, sure. I will, I will give that to you. <laughs> Hi. Maxwell, God will bless you. You're oh. a good man. You're a very good man. Oh my goodness, this is bad. And Maxwell played along all this time? How could you? You were, you were bent on ruining my life, Lydia. Why? Sorry. Assuming I'm not strong-willed, this is how you just shatter my life, right? No. No, Mercy, no. I, I just wanted someone or something that was going to distract you from, from Roland so I could have full time with him. I didn't mean for all of this to play out this way. I'm really sorry, please. You see, I, I'm going to call Maxwell right away and I'll tell him to back off. No. You don't have to do that. I will do it myself. All I'm asking you is to please try and accept the fact that Roland and I are together. We are married and we love each other. I beg you, Lydia, Try and move on. Move on and accept, accept someone else. It won't change anything. The door is still wide open for you to walk in any time you wish to. Please. All I want is peace, nothing more. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm truly sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You don't have to. I'm really sorry. It's fine. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate your help and everything. And Roland, I should be the one thanking you. Mercy. You're a nice person. I wish you well. I wish you well. Oh. It's okay. Sorry. And Mercy, I think I should leave now. And please, do not expect me anytime soon. Just, I wouldn't want to come back. I mean, I just want to go out there, find someone that can love me. You know, just. I just want to go out there and, you know, look for my own man. Are you sure? Yes. Thank you. Thank you too. I wish you good luck. Good luck. Everything happens for a reason. Let's try to understand the nature Life is all about understanding Understanding makes a difference We could be close friends but we'll have our boundaries So don't get it so twisted We could be close friends but not suffocating Everything will be okay Don't be carried away with your emotions That might lead to destruction Just let things to be 
Cause the future is brighter Don't be crazy but with your emotions Then my leads to destruction So just let this to be The future is brighter Let it go I know we had a good time Let it go I know we had a good time Let it go I know we really had a good time Let it go I know we really had a good time Everything happens for a reason Let's try to understand the nature Life is all about understanding Understanding makes a difference. We could be close friends, but we'll have a boundaries.